Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Now you may be wondering, since we've escaped the lake front, we are now in Heart Home City. You may be wondering why we're here. Now, I'm just going to make it clear that this is the point where I'm going to try and make my team ready for the upcoming battles that may arise through the Elite Four. I think I've got a good idea of what kind of battles are coming up. And therefore we need to speak about our party essentially. So. It's essentially in two parts. Now, Torterra is going to stay because I think it will have a lot of benefits in the Elite Four. Driftblim is also going to stay. We've known this for a while now after we caught it a few episodes ago. Beautiful, I've been saying it for ages. This is uh, yeah, just a Pokemon that is really decently typed, so I'm going to keep that as well. Now, these three are actually ones that I've made noises about. So... To put it bluntly, these three are gonna go. So Rapidash is gonna be is gonna go out for a similar type of Pokemon. So we're gonna try and bring in these. I've tried to try to look at this in that if we bring them in now, they'll have chance to gain XP before we go into. If we did this before the Elite Four, we'd have to do a lot of grinding. And potential will be at a place where Torterra and Beautifly are way way above where they need to be in terms of level and the Elite Four will become unbalanced so I'm thinking of doing this now rather than later so essentially these three are gonna go and they're gonna go for similar types and sometimes not similar types so to start off then we're gonna speak about Rapidash now Rapidash is obviously just a fire type so in terms of just being one type that's not something that I've I've been overly keen on throughout the series so we're gonna try and bring in a Houndoom now I have seen Houndooms in the Grand Underground so Houndooms are obviously a dark and fire type which brings that obviously dark type advantage when we're speaking about Kadabra we're talking about the same sort of thing so we're talking about fire uh, uh, sorry psychic type here so the psychic type that we're going to try and bring in is a Rolts who I've seen in the Grand Underground as well so we're going to try and bring in a Rolts which will eventually uh, turn into a Guard of War Guard of War being a psychic fairy type and finally Floatzel now Floatzel is a bit of a strange one because in terms of being a water type I feel like there's an Elite Four member coming up who uses fire types, but as we know, there aren't many fire types in the game, which means that we're going to have advantages over them no matter what. So whether that's whether they're a fire rock type and we're going to be able to use grass type moves or ground type moves, that kind of thing. Or they're going to have Steelix, which is going to be weak to other things as well. You know, we've seen this kind of thing before in the game. So we don't necessarily need a water type. So with that in mind, we're going to bring in an ice type, and that is going to be Sneasel, because it is also a dark type as well. Now, we're going to bring in two dark types here, which is an issue, but I've looked through the Pokedex, and I can't really see another way of doing this, essentially. But to break it down, we've got six, we're going to have six Pokemon in the end, and we're going to have a decent variety of half and half Pokemon. So we've got Torterra, which is grass and ground, Beautifly, which is bug flying, but can also learn poison, Driftblim, which is ghost flying, Houndoom, dark fire, Sneasel, dark ice, and Gardevoir, which is fairy psychic. Now I think that is a pretty good mix right there. With all that said, Sneasel won't be a Sneasel for Ever. We're going to try and get it into a Weavile. How we do that I'm not entirely sure but that is something for another time. So I just wanted to address this right now because we're going to change these Pokemon. So the next time you see this episode we'll be either hunting for a Rolts or a Houndoom. Sneasel will have to come later as we go up the icy path towards the next lake. However, for the time being Houndoom and Rolts are our priorities right now. Here we go then, I've found a Rolts. This is the second Rolts I've found. We accidentally uh, knocked out the first one. So, I'm going to be quite careful with this one. 
we used a bite last time and it completely got rid of it but that was with Torterra so I'm gonna try Swift this time this might not do as much I'm hoping okay that is good that will definitely do I'm gonna throw a Premier Ball it'll get them off and so you may as well give it a good go that's one roll two rolls three rolls come on first ball second rolls we found it took about 10 minutes I'll say of going to and from this room but it's great that we've got rolls already so rolls no nickname and we're gonna add it to our party so in this on this occasion I think we're gonna get rid of Kadabra. So Kadabra, obviously the MVP in that one gym battle that we had, really good. But now it's time for now it's time for a bit more from that position. So we've got Rolts in now, and we'll go ahead and try and go get a Houndoom now. Run into a Houndoom then. Probably took me about two minutes. Took a while to get here from the other room, but. Yeah, it hasn't taken long to actually find one, so I'm gonna go. No, I'm not gonna. I might knock it out. Let's go swift again. I feel like we just need to do neutral moves just to knock it down. Yeah, like that. So it's gonna use destiny bond. So take swift as well. Again. It's going to use Fire Fang, but that won't be effective against Floatzel as a water type. I might just throw one ball now, you know. Get it kicked off. This will be a lot tougher than Rolts, you would imagine. I'm going to use Payback. It's a pretty good move. And we'll use Swift. Took us about 10 minutes to get that roll, so I'm quite keen not to just, you know, to let this peter out. So we're going to use our next Pokemon. Just thinking what we can use here, so. Gust is potentially a a fair shout. Obviously Beautifly might be weak to the fire type moves but Mega Drain as well. Not the worst idea is it? Not the worst idea. Let's go for Mega Drain. Might have to withstand this first which we don't. That's a good start. Critical hit as well. Use our next Pokemon which is going to be Rift Blim. And we'll use Premier Ball now. Since we're in orange health now. So we've got one. No. I think we're gonna get need to get into the red zone here. So hit with flame charge, which has done more than half the damage because it was a critical hit. Go for payback. It's not going to be very effective, but drift bloom is withstanding these, so wasn't amazing in terms of damage. Use it again. Going to get taken out though. Uh, oof! Aftermath has done enough there. That really scared me. So we're going to use our next Pokemon, bring out, bring out Rolts, and hope we can catch it now. Going to go for the Ultra Ball though. Don't think the Premier Ball is going to do much. So we've got one roll, two rolls. That's the closest we've got so far. Going to use Destiny Bond. Ultra Ball as well again. 
one roll. This could this could easily knock out all of our Pokemon if we just continue like this. That's the fear I've got. But um, use our next Pokemon anyway. We'll go for we'll go for Rapidash. If we get to Torterra and it looks like I need to knock it out, I will. There's no real point in just being whited out. Our first of the save it would be as well. So it's going to use Fire Fang. So this is. This is the replacement essentially. Houndoom will be the replacement to Rapidash. Not that we can catch it anyway, but it's proven a little bit difficult. Go back to a Premier Ball. You never know what you're going to get with a Premier Ball. Nothing, it seems. So, going to get hit with Flame Charge. Last Premier Ball. We'll use our last Premier Ball and then we'll go back to Ultra Balls. Come on now. No. Not having any of it. Not even getting close at the minute. One more Fire Fan. Probably does it for us with Rapid Ash. One roll there. Fire Fan. Yeah, we're out there. So we've got Torterra left, so Torterra's probably going to be able to take one or two hits, maybe. We'll just see. Depends if it uses Fire Fang a lot. But we'll just keep using the Ultra Balls in the meantime, and if we have to take it out, we will. One, two, three. Come on. And the final, final Pokemon we've got our Houndoom, that took some doing, so now we can go back up to the overground, and head on and try and get our Sneasel as well. Great to see, we'll just see what see what our team is starting to look like then. So Rapidash, as good as it has been, it's going to have to make a way. So I'm going to I'm gonna put Crunch in for Bites, just to just a better move, similar sort of move, but a good one. Decent amount of XP for Torterra there as well. So we're going to add Houndoom to our party in place of Rapidash. So next time you see me, we'll be in the overground and we will have got our party just about ready to go.